Hi, in today's tutorial, I want to talk about feet and the importance of having strong and mobile feet. In other words, being able to move your feet in the full articulation, being able to separate the different parts of the feet, the toes, the ball, the, the arch, the heel, because a lot of people, and this is what I see in my classes, is they have very stiff feet, and this happens from being in shoes all day long, and just not moving their feet in the full range of motion that feet can actually move in. And what I try to do in my classes is to just slowly start to get people separating their feet and being able to, to start rolling through their foot. And the feet are the foundation of your body. This is where your weight is. The, the load of your body weight is absorbed through the feet. And we know in architecture, the, the, the arc or the arch is the strongest structure there is. And that's why your feet are designed in that way so that it, they can take the full load of your weight. But what happens a lot, and I see this with people running on the street, is they're not they're not using the full the full that full structure, the arch of the foot, to actually absorb their weight. So they're coming down on a flat foot, and this is putting so much pressure on the knees, and and then that translates up into in, into the hips and the rest of the body because everything is connected. So I just want to quickly go over how to do the, the feet exercises correctly to start really strengthening and stretching the feet so we have that equal strength and flexibility. So I'm just going to turn the camera down so you can see my feet. And start by lifting the heel. Most people can do this fine. And then just coming up onto the toes and then going back down to the ball and back down to the heel. And just doing that a few times to start really s stretching and getting that agility in the foot, getting that full range of motion in the foot, in the, in the different parts of the foot starting to gain some strength back in the arches, getting a little bit of flexibility in the connective tissue, the ligaments, there's a lot of little ligaments and tendons in the foot. So just starting easily like that to start trying to roll through the foot. And then the next part of the sequence that I usually do in my class is to come off the floor. And what happens a lot of times is what I see is people lifting the, the foot up to the, the ball and then after that they use the quadricep to lift the leg off the floor and then the foot kind of dangles in the air like that. And what we really want to try to do is push the toes into the floor as if you were making a dent in the mat or whatever surface you have. And that's where the toes are pushing into the floor and in strengthening so that you're not using the quadricep, you're using the foot, the toes. And learning, making those neural connections, those neural pathways, and retraining your nervous system to understand how to actually use the feet as they were designed. And then what I like to tell people to do is come up onto the toes, okay? From here, try to lift up, keeping the toes lifted, and then to practice going up stairs on the toes. And that's gonna help strengthen the feet as well as the muscles around the knee. 
So I hope that helps. Next time we do a foot sequence, you can start to understand how better to use your feet and to, of course, use your feet in daily life because that's what Eccentrics is really trying to do is educate people so that you have more body awareness so that in your during your your daily life activities your daily living activities you become more aware of your posture you become more aware of where your weight load is distributed how to correct those imbalances and improve your improve your overall health and well-being and re relieve pain and become more mobile and more agile till next time have a great day.